welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel I'm Darren and today I'm going to do another chicken cook but this one's going to be just a little bit different I got me another one of those big Kirkland um, whole chickens from Costco I mean these are such a deal at 99 cents a pound um, even at a dollar ten or whatever sometimes they fluctuate um, these are huge chickens and uh, they're well worth the price so I mean, well, it's the price of the Costco membership, actually. So they do have some really great meat there. So and what I'm going to do with this chicken today, I'm going to do a, uh, two cooks. I'm going to cook half of it. I'm going to cut this straight in half. I'm not going to spatchcock it this time. I'm actually going to cook two halves of the chicken. One half I'm going to cook sous vide Q. I'm going to cook it in uh, the sous vide, the GM, uh, the Gourmia GMC 680, the standalone um, multi-cooker. I'm going to sous vide half of it at 150 for three and a half hours and then the other one we're just going to cook straight on the grill and then we're going to compare the two. So I'm going to throw the uh, one that's sous vide on the grill for about a half hour or so to finish it off but we're going to start the other one probably for an hour and a half on the grill itself at the same temperature. We're going to go for right around 350, 375 and we're going to use cherry wood to smoke both of them. So we're going to see which one turns out better. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up, cut in half and get it seasoned. And I'll be right back, guys. I'm back here. And what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'm just going to cut this chicken right in half. I took it out of the bag, got all the guts out of it. And I'm going to start by the way I normally would spatchcock it. I'm just going to run my knife because I am going to take the backbone out completely. So I'm going to run my knife over along both sides of the backbone and cut that out. And then we're just going to cut it in half straight down the breastbone. So if you've never spatchcocked a chicken before, just take a really sharp knife. And it, it's a lot easier if you start from the back because you can get through that thigh bone really quick. And just follow the way the backbone rubs runs all the way up. So it's pretty easy. Um, just use a very sharp knife or some very sharp um, poultry scissors. And then when you get through the one side and start on the far side first and then just hold it up by its little tail end here and just kind of go follow it along right along that same line but just be careful with the sharp knife once you get through that thigh bone it's pretty easy to get going through sometimes it's harder than others but just follow it right along and cut that neck right out one to cooperate today there you go just trim it up and that's it I'm just going to toss that right in the garbage and then I just take my knife and just kind of push it right through the breastbone all the way through and just slice it all the way through and there you go and we got two halves of a chicken pretty even I said this is a pretty big chicken so probably like a five pounder or so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the running wild pecan rub I like that on chicken it's my go-to either the pecan rub or the smoky paprika those are both different profiles but they're both really good on chicken the uh, uh, pecan rub is more of a sweet when you want that sweet kind of chicken and then the uh, smoky paprika it's not really hot or spicy, but it's got that, you know, really kind of a little bit of a spice to it and that paprika taste that's in a little bit of smoke. So I, I like both of those rubs. So all right, guys, as you can see, today. I got them both seasoned up. I vacuum packed the uh, one I'm going to sous vide. And this one here, uh, it's all seasoned up. But I'm just going to cover this with saran wrap and we're going to throw it in our free refrigerator till we're ready to cook it up tonight. So it's going to dry brine it a little bit, pretty much just like this is going to do when it's cooking in the sous vide. So, so when we pull out this one from the sous vide, we'll put a little bit more of this um, pecan butter rub on there, and um, we'll see how this one looks after we pull it out of the fridge and see if we need any more on this one. But I doubt it. But that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and drop this one in. Like I said, this is going in at 150 for three and a half hours on the sous vide, and then this one we're going to throw it on probably about an hour before we throw this one on the grill. So I'll be back when we're throwing. Half 
hours and this uh, sous vide chicken is done. The uh, GMC 680 shut off. It actually, when, uh, when it's done cooking, when the timer hits uh, zero, it will beep about seven times or so and then it shuts itself off. So this isn't one that actually keeps cooking. So and since the chicken's already cooked, I'm just going to throw it in the fridge and um, cool. Pretty good. And I'm going to throw in two little pieces of cherry, not too big, just a couple chunks. <clears throat> With uh, any kind of poultry, you really don't need a whole lot of smoke. So this, uh, these two chunks of cherry wood are going to work out just great on this uh, on this chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up now. Throw the uh, heat deflectors in and let the temp stabilize. Throw right around 350 to 365. So see so you guys back. Ready to throw this smoke only chicken on. Um, it's been dry brining in the fridge. So, some of the rub has kind of come off here just from getting uh, the moisture from sitting in the refrigerator. So, I'm just going to add a little bit just back in there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the Big Joe. And um, I'm going to let that smoke for probably a good 45 minutes or so. And then we're going to throw the one that we sous vide on. All right. Big Joe's sitting right around 375, and I got the sous vide chicken out. Put a little, just a little bit more of the seasoning on. And that's our chicken that's just been smoking. Before we take it off, I will hit it with a temperature probe to see what the internal temp is. But that one's already cooked, so. We're just waiting. That one's just going to wait till the skin gets crisp and it warms up. So we'll be back in a few. All right, guys, it's all done. Okay, can you guess which one's which? You probably can because this one here is a little bit darker, a little bit skinnier because it's been on the smoker for the longest time. This is the sous vide one. It's not as quite as dark, but it's a lot plumper. You can tell it didn't lose as much water and moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both of them up and cut to really tell because they're both the same pretty much the same size uh, half chickens but you can tell this one lost a lot more moisture than this one uh, kind of show you how much meatier that looks juicier the skin's darker on this but it's a lot drier Whew, and hotter There you go. I'm going to take a bite of this one. Definitely a lot juicier. This one I can tell just by picking it up. It's a lot drier. I'm going to have some of that skin. Though. That skin's a little bit more crispy. I can tell it's got more smoke to it. But the meat is a lot drier. They're both good. Both tasty. Both smoky, but this one's got a lot more moisture left to it. It's really dripping and running out, and the meat's done all the way. So that's it, guys. Mm. Thanks for following along with us. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, go ahead and join us on Facebook. Right, so this will do a close up right above it so you can see the difference. You can tell that the one on the right's a lot, a lot plumper than the one on the left. Skin's a lot darker on the other one, but the meat's a lot drier on the left. So on the right, it's a lot, uh, got a lot more moisture to it, a lot juicier. Thanks again.